Hello everyone, this is Vivek Singh. I am working as a senior solutions specialist with Informatica. In this session, we'll be talking about how to configure advanced scanner in EDC. In 10.5.2, we have renamed advanced scanner as Metadex scanners. Advanced scanner binaries gets installed automatically when install EDC. During the installation, if you provide some additional inputs, you can configure advanced scanner. You can configure advanced scanners during EDC installation itself by providing some additional inputs. But in case, if you have not configured advanced scanners during installation, you can do so even after the EDC installation is complete. In this session, we'll be talking about this case where EDC is already installed and advanced scanner was not configured during the installation. To configure the advanced scanner or Metadex scanners, the very first step which we'll be doing is first we will be verifying whether the advanced scanners binaries are already installed or not. Advanced scanner binaries get installed under services catalog service advanced scanner application folder. So we will be running ls-ltr command to check the presence of advanced scanners binaries. I have logged into Informatica domain machine and we need to log in as a user which runs Informatica services. In my case, root user is running Informatica services, hence I have logged in as a root user. When I run ls-ltr command, I can see a bunch of files are present, which means advanced scanner binaries is already installed on this EDC node. Once we have verified, the next step is to create advanced scanner workspace. And after creating the workspace, we will also need to set up scanners workspace environment variable into the bash profile of the user which is running Informatica services. So let's do these two steps. So I have created advanced scanner workspace folder in infa home directory. Now we will set up this path as a environment variable. After setting the environment variable, I will load bash profile so that this variable reflects for all the sessions. After completing step two, we'll move into step number three, which is copying ETC folder from the scanner, advanced scanner home to advanced scanner workspace. Now let's verify if the folder and its content are copied into a scanner's workspace. Here I can see the ETC folder and inside the ETC folder, we can check some files are present. Now next step is to update repository.properties file with the set of properties which is defined here. So here we are trying, we are trying to update the database details which will be used as a advanced scanner repository database. So here you can see we are setting the repository as a true and then we are providing the JDBC detail of the database. So in our, my case, I'm going to use Oracle and similarly, you can use SQL Server as well. So what exactly JDBC URL which you need to give, you can always check on the Informatica documentation portal. Link I have shared in the reference section of this slide. Then we need to provide the database username and database username password. And this password needs to be encrypted. Now, how to encrypt this password? For that, you can use the command which is provided here. So once you run this command on Informatica node, it will ask you to enter your password in plain text format, and then it will encrypt and provide you an encrypted password. And that password, we need to provide it here. So let's set these properties in repository.property file. So in this file, some properties are already defined. I'll just add the database related properties and leave the previous properties as it is.
So I have added JDBC URL, username, and encrypted password here. Let's save this file. After updating repository.properties file, we need to run repositoryutils.sh, which is present in the app folder of scanner home directory. So first, I'm granting 755 privileges to all the folders and files inside scanner home directory. We'll switch to utils folder. And from here, we can run repositoryutils.sh hyphen u command. So this command will be executing certain scripts which will create uh, required database objects like tables of views for advanced scanner in the database schema which we provided in the previous step. So the command is successfully executed. Next step is to update server.properties file with the required properties. So if you notice in server.properties file, we can provide two types of entry. If we just want to enable HTTP for the uh, advanced scanner UI, we can give these two properties. Basically, we are trying to set SSL as a false, right? And then we need to give the port number on which the web UI should be running. In case if you want to enable HTTPS for the advanced scanner web UI, then along with these two properties, like uh, setting up the port number and uh, setting the SSL enable as a true, we also need to provide the key store file which will be used for the web UI. So here we need to provide the path of the key store file, the encrypted password for the key store file, right? And then we need to provide the alias name which is present in the key store file. And we need to also provide the format of the key store file here. Please note, uh, the password should be encrypted using the same method how we encrypted for the database in the previous step. In this session, I will be enabling HTTPS for the advanced scanner web UI. And for this purpose, I will be using the Informatica provided default key store. Let's go to the scanner workspace slash etc folder. And if I check here, here I can see server.property file is not present. So we need to create that file here. If the file is already present, then you can edit the file. If it's not present, then you need to create it first. So here I have provided the default key store file, which is shipped along with Informatica, right? And it will be present under Tomcat slash conf folder in the info home. And the default password of this default key store file is encrypted and provided here. The alias name present in uh, for inside this key store is this one, right? This you can check it. Uh, uh, so, so, so to check uh, what is the alias name, right, in the in, in a key store file, what you need to do is you need to run key tool hyphen list hyphen key store and then path of the key store file, and then you need to provide the password. Once you run this command, you can see the alias name present in this key store, and that alias name you need to provide it here. The format of this key store file is JCase, and that's what I have provided here. Format also you can see it from here. So once we provide with this detail in this file, we can save this. After updating details in server.properties file, we need to run server.sh script. This script will bring the advanced scanner services up. And at the end of this script execution, the advanced scanner web UI will be up and accessible. So I have executed server.sh script here, and it will take few minutes to execute successfully. And at the end of the script execution, we should be able to see the uh, advanced scanner web UI URL. So the script is successfully executed. And here you can see uh, the advanced scanner web UI. It is HTTPS enabled. If you notice in server.properties file, we did not provide port number and so the advanced scanner UI is up and running on the default port, which is 8090. So let's first check this one if the URL is accessible, and then we will try to change the port number. So 
So here I can see the advanced scanner UI, which is also called as Metadex scanner is up and running. The next part will be to assign license to this. But before assigning the license, let me change the port number. So to change the port number, we need to edit server.properties file. And here we need to specify the port number on which we want the advanced scanner to run. So we can specify the port number using this property and we can save this file. Please remember now to uh, take this port number into effect, uh, we must restart the advanced scanner services. So for that first, we need to bring down the advanced scanner and then we need to restart it. So to bring down the advanced scanner services, all we need to do is we need to run the same command sh space server.sh script and then we need to provide argument as stop. You can see stopping advanced scanner process 17130. Now we can check the status using ts-ef command. And nothing is running, right? So that means the advanced scanner services are stopped. Now let's restart advanced scanner. So for that, we need to run the same command. We just need to omit the stop option. So now you can see once the script is successfully executed, uh, it is showing the new port number on which the UI is running. So let's access this URL. So here we can see the advanced scanner UI is now running on 48090 port, which we just specified. Now we can log into the UI. So the username and password, the default username and passwords are admin, admin. Once we logged in, first step which we need to do is we need to assign the license. And for that, we need to set three environment variables here. Click on the administrator and then click on global variables. And here we need to add three global variables to add the EDC catalog details. The first variable is EDC underscore URL. And here we need to provide a host name and port information of the EDC catalog. We need to provide the administrator user detail here. We can encrypt the EDC password by clicking on the lock icon. Once we have given all these three variable details, uh, parameter details, we can click on configure EDC instance and then click on reload license. You can see license tested successfully message and you can refresh this web page and the error message will go away from the bottom. Step is to run install scanner.sh script. So that all the scanner files will be installed in advanced scanner. Once install scanner.sh is executed, we need to restart catalog service and then advanced scanner. So I have recycled the catalog service and meanwhile, I'll also shut down advanced scanner. So once catalog service is available, I'll restart advanced scanner. Here I can see the advanced scanner UI is up and running. I can log in using the default credentials again just to make sure that I'm not getting any license related error. So with this, we are done with today's session on configuring advanced scanner or Metadex scanner after installing EDC. I have provided reference KBs here, which you can use while configuring advanced scanner or Metadex scanner in EDC. 
We would love to hear from you on any of these Informatica support channels. Thank you.